Hi, this is Chad with Skeleton Key in St. Louis, Missouri, and I've created a sample file to help you add animation to your pop-up windows. This is a two-part um, series. This first part, I'm going to show what the tool does, I'm show a little bit about how it works, and uh, offer the file for you to download. In the second part, I'll show how easy it is to add um, this feature to your own existing solutions or even to um, a new solution. Let's take a look. So when I say animation, this is what I mean. We've got some different options for how the windows can come into the screen, like such. It also offers some different positions where these windows can come into. And then we also, have also, also offer different speeds. Okay, let's take a look at all the features available. So we've got slide from the left, which we saw earlier. Slide from the right, slide from the top, and slide from the bottom. Then we have what I'm calling grow from the center, from the top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. Now all of these are available in every position that I showed earlier and at every speed. We have window shade, which works best on slow, and we have none, which is your traditional. Um, just going to pop it up. Okay, let's take a look at what this um, system needs to work. First of all, I need to know the size of the screen, and I'm doing that um, two ways. One is that at startup, I'm coming to a layout that has a box um, size 200 by 200, and I'm grabbing some information about this. Um, namely, throwing those into global variables. And what the reason why I'm doing it this way is that it gets around the issue of having to know the different window sizes for different um, operating systems. And so by coming here and knowing the size of something on the layout and then getting the window size, I can just add this to my existing layout sizes and size the window appropriately. Um, what that requires, though, is that I know the size of my layouts. And I'm doing that by, on every um, screen, having a box essentially around the, um, the layout and giving it a name layout size. One of the nice things about this technique is it will adjust to your layouts almost automatically. So if I come and I change the size of this, um, we'll just say we're going to make it 400 and we'll make it um, 350 tall. Okay, the by resizing this outside box to be you know the edges of my layout then the system automatically is going to um, resize to that new that new size so let's do that one more time I'll take this I'll change it and we'll make it much smaller now throw everything way up here like this I get that exactly since we're just demoing it here. So we got it like that. And it just resizes because of the way the layout size is working. I hope you found this interesting. Um, please stay tuned for part two, and where I'll show you how easy it is to add this to an existing solution. If you have any questions about the file or about the technique, please feel free to email me at chad.adams at skeletonkey.com.